Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. Uh, this episode, I'm grading seven key comics. I'm going to give them grades, and according to eBay prices, I'm going to tell you what they're going to be selling for, and I'm going to be putting them on my eBay. So let's go! <laughs> so, first up, we got Hero for Hire, number three. Basically, Luke Cage. First appearance of Gideon Mace. So, you know, the book has some wear, minor. A little bit of discoloration. I mean, it's not that bad. This is actually a pretty nice little book. The book is old. What year is this book? 1972. But it is a first appearance. Luke Cage is kind of hot right now. Got some, uh, like, ink. A little crunch. A little spine roll. Overall, pretty nice. Off-white to white. Well, I don't think they would go tan on this. It might look that way in the light, but staples intact, center good, looks pretty clean. So to be safe, I'm going to give this book a fine. First appearance of Gideon Mace, and I'm going to ask $11. That's pretty cheap for this book. So we have Hero for Hire number nine, Luke Cage. This is a Fantastic Four key appearance. Um, this book's in... Not as good as the other one. You know, you see some crinkling corner. You know, just wear. Spine ticks. A little bit of an issue up here. Here. A little creasing. A little chipping. Marble chipping. The book has a crease down the center. That's super bad. It's bad enough, though. The back's a lot nicer than the front, I guess. You've got, you know, it's a little bit, it's not as wide as it should be. You can see where the crease is. The interior's nice, though. Off white to white. All the pages are there. See if I can get to the staples. I love the art though. There's the staples. They've survived, it's connected. You can see the crease through the other book. Um, most people would probably do a VG on this. I'm gonna do a VG minus. And I'm only gonna ask five bucks for it. So I mean, if people are trying to Fill up runs. Five bucks, this is a book to do it. Next up, we got Power Man Annual Number One, 1976. This is a bigger book, King Size Annual. Uh, it's the first Amanda and Samantha Sheridan. There's other stuff in it, but it's a solid cover. We got a little bit of stuff here. The cracking, some spine. You know, pretty normal stuff for a book this age. A little bit of stuff here. The back seems a little bit better. A little bit of a something here. On these thicker ones, we've always got stuff like that. You get a little crunch right there. Crunchy crunch. Not too bad though. Cool cover. It's cool art in it too. It's complete. Let's see here. Oh yeah, off white to white. Oh yeah, the staples aren't there. The staples are here. 
The book overall is in okay shape. Some would probably say fine. I'll say fine minus to be safe. And I'm gonna go eight bucks. Next up, we got Warlock number two. Uh, first Monk and Cameo Rex Carpenter. I'm sure there's other things as well. But let's check it out. A little bit of discoloration. This is a pretty nice book, though, for its age. Little, little thingies. Nothing too bad. I actually think it's really nice, actually. Got a little bit of, I don't know if it's discoloration or, but it's solid book. Some ink, just a minor corner issue, more ink. You find these ink a lot on older books in this time period, um, which is interesting. The interior is nice. The pages aren't that bad. Off white to white for sure. It's complete. I think the ads still look good. I think I might have passed the staples. Let's see. No. A lot of these books have these little thingies. They look good. So I think that uh, a lot of people might give this a VF. I'm going to be safe and give it a fine, very fine, which is about a 7.0 instead of a VF minus, which is like a 7.5. Fine, very fine. First appearance, old book, 15 bucks. Next up, we got Warlock number three. It's the first full appearance of Trax and Rex Carpenter. This is also a nice book. A little color. It's got that ink, blue ink again. A little bit of something there. It's really sharp though. It really looks nice. See, you can see the ink more here now. It's funny that the cover's so dark that ink would have to run, I'm guessing. Little crunch. Kind of a little dirty. But inside, it's gorgeous. These are great filler books. I don't know how the ink actually grades with CGC like that. I don't know. I never. I don't think I ever had a book like that. I might do a series where I'm reading these old books because people forget about these old books. I think there's the staples. It's a beautiful book. There's nothing wrong with this book. Well, yeah, except for I, what I told you was wrong with it. Um, I would say probably VF minus. I don't know how many people are, care about the ink or not, um, but I'm gonna say fine, very fine, and 10 bucks. Next up, Warlock number four. This is The Death of Triax. This is a really nice book. Um, minus the ink. Another book with the ink on it. But look at this thing. Minor. There's something. The cover's sick. Yo. <laughs> look at that ink. The book is so nice though. Wow. 
off white to white. It's complete. Staples are looking good. This is a really nice book. Uh, minus the ink, it's in the VF range. I'm gonna just say VF um, and ten dollar book. So we're coming to my last one. Next up, we have Iron Man number one twenty five. Uh, I think it's the third appearance of Ant Man. It's part of the whole alcohol series with uh, Tony Stark. It's a key book. This one has a little bit more wear. There's some, you know, a little bit of creases, some dings. Ding, ding, ding. The spine's, you know, kind of dingy. Some little things here. Folds up a little bit. I mean, it's a reader copy for sure, but it is a key. The, the back cover is a little dirty. Not too bad. Interior is good. Off white to white. Look at that, he's like a drunk guy. That's cool right there. Complete. Staples a little off to the right. That one's fine. There's Ant Man. Hey, what's up, Ant Man? Complete book. I'm gonna say VG plus. I was gonna say VG fine, but I'll say VG plus. This. Because it's a third appearance, it's about, I'm going to say $8. It is what it is. So, right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. These are the books. They're going to be on eBay. You can check them out if you want. Um, and if you're coming from eBay, because I put it in the listing to come check them out, uh, better through video, I mean, why not? Uh, these are the books. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, and I'll see you next time.